Hey everyone, welcome to another course play tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the combine self unloading. So, what we need for that is obviously the combine harvester, and we need a tractor with the trailer hooked onto it. So, what this course is, is actually just having a trailer stood by the side of the field, like this one here, and having the combine harvester unload itself into this trailer. So to do that it is important we have this trailer set up to the edge of the field just as it is here and we are going to go back to the combine harvester and set up a course for that because what we're going to tell the combine harvester is once it's full it doesn't have to wait for a car to come over to it or a trailer to come over to it it can go to the trailer parked by the side of the field and unload itself. So let's set up that course for this combine. Now again, when you're working with course play, do yourself the favor of turning off crop destruction because crop destruction will destroy your crops here. So what we want to do is we want to set up a course for this combine. We want to tell it once it's full, it has to go unload into that trailer over there. So we need to be inside the field when we are starting up the course. And we want to give ourselves uh, we, we want to be sure to have enough room to maneuver in here. So again, once we copy the course, or once we start the course, uh, we need to have three waypoints before we make any sudden turn. So we want to be in this mode here, that one there, the combined self-unloading. And let's get a little bit more room to play with here. So we're going to start the course recording and we got one waypoint, two, three and I'm going to pipe out so I know that the pipe is above the trailer and we want to come right up to the edge of the field and make sure that the pipe is over the trailer which it seems to be right here. All right here we go. So we're going to set a waypoint here. This is telling the combine this is where you have to unload. So we got a waypoint there and we're gonna continue on giving ourselves enough room before we turn and we're gonna start the course here. So this course we're gonna save as field 28 Combi self, or I could call it combine self unload. I can't, it's too long, <laughs> but you get the picture. We're going to call it field 28 combine self unloa. There we go. Uh, so if we go into the globe, the manage courses, we have it here. And let's make a new folder and call that field 28 and move this one into field number 28. So here we go. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to set the combine harvester up to actually harvest the field. And we're going to do that like this. So once again we're on field number 28. And let's set the combine up right over here in the corner. Here we go. So we want to get into working mode, or field work mode, and press the course generation, and field number 28, there we go, 7 meters width, and we're starting in the northeast corner, northeast, there we go, and we're heading west, there we go, we do want to return to the headlands, or to the first point, like so. We don't need any headlands for this field here. There's plenty of room for the combine to turn around on each field. And we can save this course here, or generate the course. And you can see that the combine harvester is going to start right in front of us, and it's going to stop right in front of us as well once it's done. So let's save this course here as field 28. Harvest 
seven meter. There we go. And once again, if we go into the managed courses, which is the globe, we have the field 28 harvest seven meters. So let's put that into the field 28 container. So here we go. So far, so good. Now, we do want to set up another course here, so we're not completely done yet. Let's turn off the combine for now and head on over to the tractor over here. Because this tractor, we want this tractor to head back to the farm to unload, and like we did with the grain carting. So basically this is going to be a grain carting as well, but it's going to be carting. Um, it's just going to sit here and wait for the trailer to be full. It's not going to chase the combine harvester. So let's set up a course for this tractor over here. Again, open your course play hot by clicking the right mouse button. And here we are. So for this one, we want to be in the grain transport mode, which is this one here. This is important because this is telling the, com uh, the course play to transport grain. So let's start up the engine. And the grain transport mode, we need to start the recording where we want the trailer to be filled. So this is here. So let's start the recording. Here we go. And once again, leave ourselves three waypoints. That's two. Three. And now we can turn and head back to the farm. And you can click away um, the course play hut just by clicking on the cross in the corner of the cosplay hut. It doesn't matter, it's still recording. Now we're pulling onto a road here with AI traffic. So be sure to drive in the proper side of the road. If you're on a UK style map, well obviously you're going to be playing or driving on the left side of the road. If you're on a European style map, you're going to be driving on the right side of the road. So do make a notice of that. Now when we come back to the unload pit. Make sure that you approach the trigger point from the same side every time you make a course. Otherwise you risk getting your tractors stuck in traffic. So the last course we said, we approached the unload point from over here. We're going to be doing that again. Now this is a tricky space uh, with a tractor this size. but. We approach it from here and just drive across it like this and back to the road. And here we go. Now back to the field and we are done with recording here. So that's just going to take a little while. Thankfully this is a fast tractor. These JCBs can um, drive a quite fast track here. So, onto the field road. And now we need to line up the tractor. So it is a little bit of a tricky course because I came in from the other side. So, let's see here. So you want to stop this course 10 to 15 meters from the start point. So it's roughly around there, that seems about right. Okay, so there we go. So this is a new route or new course that we've just made. Uh, you can click this icon here and it will show you the recorded route. Here you go, so you can see the route is going here, onto the road, back to the main farm, into the silo and back on the road and back to the field again. So I don't know if that means it's a sharp turn or something like that. I, uh, I actually don't know what it means the color. But you can see the course by clicking this icon here. Okay, so now we can tell this one a couple of things. We are in the carding grain um, mode here. So we start the course at the first waypoint, which is right up there. 
So the tractor is going to drive out there and wait for the combine harvester to be filling us up. Don't know why it's jiggering like that. Um, number of runs to perform. Well, we're going to go unlimited. We're going to go until there is no more grain in this field. Um, now, this field is barley, so we're going to tell it to have barley loaded. If we were to empty out the silos, this is the same mode you would use, and you can tell what to unload from the silo. And that's basically it. So let's save this course as... Come on. Field 28. Side carting. I'm calling it side carting because I'm carting grain from the side of the field. So this is telling me enough when I have to load this course again. And we're going to put it into the container for field 28. So we have it in here. So this tractor is actually ready now. So we're going to drive it. We're going to send it to the first waypoint. Here we go. Drive course. And it stopped. Because now it's waiting. You can see it's loading 0 of 40,000. So there we go. This tractor is ready. So now we just need to turn on the combine harvester. Now the combine harvester is going to have to remember two courses now. So we're going to merge two courses into one. And I'm going to show you how to do that here. So let's start up the combine harvester. And we're going to open the course bay hot by clicking the right mouse button. And we can see over here we have the course field 28 harvest 7 meter loaded. So if we go into the managed course and go into the field 28 container, we want to load the combine self unloading. So we do that by clicking this icon there, which is going to load the course or merge it into an already loaded course. So by doing that, you can see that we have two combined courses and you can see we have this stop and the start sign for the self unloading course. And now we're basically ready. So we want to start the course at the first waypoint and let's drive it. And he's going to unfold and start the combine harvester and drive along. So he's going to continue on until he reaches 90%. I'm just going to let him go and I'm going to speed up the footage a little bit while we wait for this. Just see if he clears the trailer down here. It is a little bit narrow. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, I'll speed up the footage and you guys can see what's going on here. So the combine harvester is coming up to 70% now. I'm going to change the settings a little bit here. So I'm going to say drive on at 75% just to, um, to get this going a little bit. We're at 73, 74% now. And once he reaches 75%, he's going to stop as he does now. And he's going to load the self-unloading course. As you can see, he's turned on his... Um, his beacons and now he's going to load the self unloading course which is up here somewhere we started that
And once he's caught that course, he's going to go down to the trailer to unload. So here he goes. So he approach, he's approaching the trailer now and he's going to pipe out and unload into the trailer. Oh, there we go. And you can see Coldplay is giving us a notification that he is at the overload point. We're also getting a notification that the actual flow is in traffic. I'm going to have to change that later on. Or have a look at that later on. So when he's, once he's done unloading, he's going to continue up to the stop point there. And heading back to where he came from. And I'm not doing a thing here. I am not controlling anything. This is cosplay doing it all by itself. There we go. We have reached the stop point for the self unload course. And now he's going to go back to where he stopped harvesting and continue on from there. And as you can see here, he's just about reaching the point where he left off. Now, setting up a course like this is probably not the best idea for a combine harvester. But if you were to do something with root crops like um, potatoes or sugar beet, this would be an excellent way of doing it. So you don't have to chase the, um, the harvester on the field constantly. You can just have the harvester go to um, a semi or a tractor stood by the side of the field and unload into there. So this is how you do that and now this tractor is or this combine is just going to continue on the course and the next time he's going to come up there and the next time he's full it's going to come up to the trailer and unload again. Now let's head over to the trailer which is here and he's going to wait you can see here once this text down near this piece he has 6,700 liters out of 40,000 so he's going to be stood here for quite a while we're going to send him on the course right now and see how that goes. So he's heading back to the farm. The beacon is turned on and he's going to switch over to the other side of the road here. And I can tell that that combine harvester is in traffic because apparently the unloading uh, tractor hasn't moved away from, from, the, from its course. All right, he's going to approach the road. He's going to drive in the same speed that I did when I recorded this course. So it's not too fast. One thing to remember when you record these courses is that if the trailer is full, it's a very heavy load and he's not going to be able to stop on a dime. So do take that in mind when you record these courses. And he's approaching the farm. Now we told him to approach the tip trigger from the other side. So he's going to turn around over here. It's a little bit of a tricky course that I set up for him. I wonder if Coursplay can do it. Yeah, it seems to be going fine. So he's going to tell us that the tip trigger is reached. There we go. Tip trigger reached. So he's going to unload here and he's going to head back to the field and sit there and wait for the combine harvester to be ready to unload again. Again back on the road with AI traffic and ahead of us is a car. Now that car is significantly slower than this tractor. So what is going to happen now when he reaches that? Well he's simply just going to slow down and adjust his speed to the vehicle in front of him. So we'll have to wait for the ladder to appear. I think that's a ladder. It looks like a ladder. We're just going to have to sit back and wait for that one to get out of the way. Meanwhile, the combine harvester is harvesting along. And picking up a lot of barley for us. 
Here we go. Now again, a course like this would not be the way to do it once you are harvesting just regular grain. But for root crops, potatoes and sugar beet, this is a good setup. This works. And he's going to turn around and head back to the start point of this course. And you can tell he's going to head back to the start point and there we go. So there you have it guys, that's how to set up the combine self unload and how to set up a grain carting route or route um, to have your grain carted from the side of the field back to your farm silos without you having to do anything. It frees up a lot of your time so you can do other stuff if you wanted to. I hope you liked this video and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.